What is up, all you epic people, rambots, and seagulls? This thread will be where you can check out some of the work that is being carried out. Most, if not all, of this list should be ready by the 8th of August. That's Thursday, this week, two days from when this video was at least recorded. I don't know when it's going up. Probably, you know, same day, most likely, but your time zones are gonna flip you around regard, you know, where you are in the world is where you are in time. Anyway, this is Spud Cubs with another update on the updated updating, pre-updated updating game. This is from our friendly neighborhood community manager, John, also known as this guy. What is up, my streaming teams? How are you all doing? And welcome back to From the Depths, where we are currently up against uh, a little thing down here. And John tells us, among other things, such as the laser tweaks we briefly talked about in the last little update of the updates, uh, I think Big Brother Badungus Borderwise. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. I am Borderwise, and welcome to From the Depths 2.4.7 also known as the laser update created a little more in-depth video on that you can go check that out uh, I, you know probably if you search up from the depths on youtube it's the first video that comes up at least for the next week or so uh but big things i want to touch on in this little update here my little spudlings they are re-adding ai cards yeah you heard it right that big ai update you all scrambled about look at this Wait, this isn't anything dealing with that. Um, look at this. Wait. Look at this. All right, that was the right highlight. You get my point. They're re-adding AI cards. Not like the old, this AI card does this specifically in the traditional way, like you need this AI card for this behavior. But in a way of, um, you put an AI card in and it's like a preset AI card, like you copy pasted an AI card from another vehicle. Even though they made a whole point of this update to embed the behaviors into the AI itself so that you can copy and paste from the AI. Um, so basically these new AI cards are gonna be like preset or prefabbed AI behaviors. Uh, and uh, you know, some of you might be saying, Stop making this more confusing. We already had to deal with not having AI cards. Now we have to deal with AI cards again. What is going on? But, you know, on the other hand, for the, the newer players, it's going to be a little easier to get into making AIs if you don't have any clue how to get your AI working. Um, and I, I don't know. The, the AI menu... Uh, just why not have presets built into the AI menu? That way you don't need physical cards and that you can also save your own AI presets. You know, just on the left hand side, just a little menu or maybe a, a bracket, like a bracket, a tab. Because I know you guys, you devs, you, you brilliant sky bros. You're really like uh, putting those tabs on the top of your user interface nowadays. Why not make just a preset tab where you can save and load the presets there? Like you have on missiles, you know, on the missile menu, you have the uh, save and load menu. Why not just make it the same system on, you know, a, on a different system? Missiles and AI have the same kind of save and load menu so that players if they get used to the missile system, let's say, it's not like a completely alien system going to the AI menu. If it's the same, it's like, oh, this game has some style. It's like it's sharing the same kind of menu setup. I know where everything's going to be. It's organized. I like it. I don't know. But moving on from that, you can, you can discuss that in the comments with me. I'll be happy to dibble dabble and discuss things. But we go right down to here that, that to that little image I like really liked highlighting here in blue because it's so blue anyway. Oh, maybe I shouldn't do that. Sorry if if uh, no, I'll just, I'll just put a flashing lights warning. Yeah, just yeah, just don't worry about it. You know, a quick trip, quick trip to the hospital never hurt nobody. Maybe flashing lights might have, but uh, right. from the depths is getting custom battle mode. No, this is not the battle royale mode they uh, mentioned previously. 
Uh, custom battle mode is more like the tournament mod that you've seen. I'm sure it's right here. Yeah, a tournament mod developed by Wootness, Quirk26, and a nickel. And so if you don't know what tournament mod is, tournament mod is basically like... It's like a tournament. It's an unmanned uh, tournament. It's a third-person free-look view, or sometimes it's a cinematic view, like uh, in Grand Theft Auto, the cinematic view that just kind of pans over to random points all around, rotates, looks kind of cool. Uh, but you have, you know, your lineup of vehicles in here. You can see that uh, you have Team Herp, Team Derp, and Empty Team 3 and 4. Kind of like Warcraft 3, or like a Blizzard game, or like a standard RTS, you know? And then you just have your, like, basic preset lineup. You have, uh, it's four units. You can add more uh, to the team on the screen. But let me just show you the example. So you can kind of grasp it in your head. We have four teams, two Marauders each, kind of firing at each other. Uh, and so it's this third-person view of a bunch of vehicles fighting. Now, it's not exactly like the team battle we have in the multiplayer menu, because I know there are a lot of these janky multiplayer game modes that barely half kind of work that people try to play and like, hey guys, let's play some obelisk destruction. Let's play Attack on Eerie. What do you, what? What? What is this even? Does this work? Is this something you can do? But anyway, um, kind of getting back onto the custom battle mode, I think it'll be really cool, because uh, tournament mod, I mean, who, who doesn't like that? I, I just think it's a little bit of a, maybe not as controversial as it should be, maybe. It, it is in my head, it's like a, it's like a big ir irking thing to me, because it's not that I don't like tournament mod, it's not that I don't like tournaments. Tournaments are great and all, tournament mod is great, I actually absolutely love that they're putting this into the game. It's just, my problem is, why does it have to be that major changes in From the Depths only occur when a modder with a, with a clear, strong, like, vision of what they want to have fun in the game with, you know, they, they make a mod of the game, you know, right, with Beam Man's effects mod, we have Raya and the beautiful uh, After Cataclysm, uh, set of mods. Gee, how big is that mod set, by the way? That's gigantic. That's a lot of work. Uh, not to mention Drabba's Missile mod. Not to mention uh, countless other people who've, who've made custom campaigns that vehicles or vehicles that have gone into the game. Um, but my complaint is, it's like, why is it that only when something becomes big and great in the community does it get put into the game? Why can't the game develop on its own from the depths of such great potential but from the depths needs a strong vision from the depths needs a strong direction from the depths needs a strong leader for the boats for the ship girl waifus for the players Seagulls. Oh, what is up, all you epic people, Rambots and Seagulls? This is Spud Cubs with another update on the updates for the updates for your favorite updating pre early update update game. What is up, all you epic people, Rambots and Seagulls? What is up, all you epic people, Rambots and Seagulls? Hey, 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 what is up, all you epic people, Rambots and Seagulls? What is up, all you epic people, Rambots and Seagulls? What is up, all you epic people, Rambots and Seagulls?
Okay, that's enough of that. Why? Why?